I'm not really sure what to expect from Rooster Ridge uh, in South Dakota. It's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't really been to South Dakota. From what I hear, they have a ton of pheasants there. I uh, was fortunate enough to grow up in a little town in Nebraska, but coming up here is completely, completely different. We'd hunt all season and not see as many birds as we saw the first day. Oh my God, they're everywhere! This will be my second time pheasant hunting, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. You know, I haven't met Lucas Hogue before. Uh, I hear he's a really nice guy and he's got a great voice. You know, since Christy and I had never met, I really didn't know what to expect. And um, when we met there at the airport, it was kind of like we'd been old friends already. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Good, we're fine. We made it. We're going to go kill some stuff, so we're good. It's going to be fun. I'm yeah. excited. Safely on the ground in a Mount Rushmore state, we load up and hit the road en route to Pheasant Hunter Haven in Chamberlain, South Dakota, where the hunting is great and the birds are plenty, at the aptly named Rooster Ridge Lodge. Well, my expectations, I guess, coming up here to South Dakota, I kind of didn't know what to expect. You know, growing up in Nebraska, the terrain is quite a bit different, and uh, it's been a long time since I've been behind a shotgun. My first impression of Rooster Ridge was, it was a beautiful place. The lodge that they had was just great. The house that we stayed in, it's just gorgeous. And all kinds of opportunities and different things you can do. So it's definitely a great home away from home. You just couldn't ask for a better place to come and hunt. We decided to go, you know, kind of get comfortable with the shotguns. So they took us to their shooting clays range. Going in where it's warm. It was really cool. It was like this little building on top of this big hill. And uh, so we both had, you know, the shotguns. I had the classic Browning Satori over and under shotgun. Oh, I don't know <laughs> who got that one. <laughs> the other one go, oh, it's over there. <laughs> Crafted with legendary Browning precision, Satori field guns have steel receivers, breeches, and hinge pins for durability and straight shooting through thousands of rounds. Lucas got the Browning Maxis shotgun. It's uh, really, really nice and it's really easy to shoot. It's quick and fast and it's got that new recoil. The new Maxis all-purpose auto loader carries light, swings fast, and hardly picks it off. Thanks to Browning's super soft Inflex technology recoil pad. I made Lucas go first to kind of see what my competition was. Not used to him flying at me, I guess. <laughs> he missed a few, and then, you know, I got up there and I missed a few. And then we started getting it down to where we were both oh, hitting nice. quite a bit. Oh. 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 Look at you go. Oh! You jinxed me. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe I should do that every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we got up here on the first day, we went and shot some clays at the great facility here at Rooster Ridge. And oh. man, she was knocking them out of the sky. Huh. Oh, wow. Man. You got it. I think you got that one down. I think I'm the one that's worried now out there in the field. <laughs> she did a really great job. Um, probably even better than I did. Nice. Jeez, yeah. Old dead eye over there. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Way better than I did, actually. 
We felt pretty comfortable that we thought we could go out and see if we could get some birds. Plan. Find some, some beautiful birds to uh, bring down. And we're going to do that today. So we got out to one of the fields and uh, you know we came up with a game plan. I'm on the left side and uh, Lucas is on the right side. Oh yeah. Then Garrett, our guide, is in the middle. It's a jungle in here. Rooster. And she missed. Big whiffa, big whiffa. You're making fun of me. Oh yeah. Okay, go what goes around comes around. I beat him in the sports clays. Yeah, you did. I'll give you that. <laughs> Christy makes it so much fun. She always wants to have fun. And that's what it's all about. Oh, now right. who missed? That's I brought him around for you. I scared him your way. Put him up. <laughs> Rooster! Come! Rooster! Nice! I like this gun a lot. Oh yeah, Lucas, you wait till I get my competitive side out. Hunt him up. Find him. Hunt him up. Rooster! Oh, got her on the second try. Nice. Woo! Easy, Daddy. My competitive side's just starting to come out. Come I was on. just nonchalantly strolling, letting you come see everything, on. but <laughs> you want to play that game. I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> I would say that every time I get an opportunity to bird hunt, you know, it's, it's just a great opportunity to be able to meet new people, and there were tons of birds. Oh, yeah. I got him! Going Country is presented by Browning, makers of firearms, clothing, gun safes, and other top quality outdoor gear. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Swarovski, Swarovski Optics. Polaris. See the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicles now at your local dealer. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Otis Technology. Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. And by Lethal Products. Lethal. Human Scent Eliminator. Prowling the prairies outside Chamberlain, South Dakota. Country artist Lucas Hogue and myself are getting our rhythm down and locking in on the ring necks of Rooster Ridge Lodge. I would say that every time I get an opportunity to bird hunt, you know, it's it's just a great opportunity to be able to meet new people. And I've, you know, met a, a new friend, Lucas Hogue, and there were tons of birds. We had seriously so many birds we couldn't even shoot them all. Well, during this whole extravaganza of the hunting weekend, I shot the Satori and I shot about four boxes of shells. I mean, I shot the Satori really well, but I was really looking forward to shooting the Maxis because it's got the recoil pad system in it and that thing hardly kicks at all. Oh yeah. The beauties. The beauties. Which one do you want? Are we switching today? If you want to. Try this one today. I'll be more than happy to. This one has All that right. sweet recoil system. Get ready, hunt him up. Find him. Get ready. Rooster! Nice! That's a good shot, huh? Rooster! Woo! Oh yeah! All sorts of varmint. Aminals. Good shooting. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. I got him! Not that one. <laughs> Dude, that was so far! No kidding, that was a mile away. That Woo. was sick. <laughs> I was Gosh. taking my sweet time with that one. Lucas! Yeah! It's like a war zone in here! It is, they're all over the place. <laughs> We're standing right on top of them. Got him again. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh dead eye. 
I really connected with Christy right off the bat, you know, because we're both in the entertainment business. We're both trying to make it uh, to the next step as country artists. And, uh, you know, she went the American Idol way. And back when I, before I moved to Nashville, you know, we were just like Christy, you know, touring all over the place in uh, the, the local scene as much as we could and just uh, really paying our dues. So we have that connection in the music and we also have the connection with animals. I'm a huge animal lover. I love all animals. These dogs are so great. They treat them so good. They're so happy too. I mean, a lot different than the dogs that I'm used to. Lucas has a foundation for a dog rescue, which is really, really cool. I, I didn't even really know that until he got here and told me. I really feel blessed to be a part of uh, Last Chance Highway and to be able to save and rescue so many animals. It's really great. Like Christy as well with her horse foundation, she does such amazing work with that. Well, I know they say that man's best friend is a dog, but for me, it's a horse. And I have a foundation for a horse rescue. I get a lot of off-the-track thoroughbreds that I retrain uh, for barrel racing or English or you know whatever it may be that the horses have athletic ability in and try to find them really good homes and all the money that we get from the horses go back into the foundation. You know anything that you can do to rescue abused or neglected animals is always something that hits my heart and you know means a lot. I rescue as many animals as I can. Even though I do hunt, I still have a love and a passion for all animals. So with these two foundations together, there's a lot of happy horses and a lot of happy dogs. Coming up, Lucas and I are making hits of a different feather in the pheasant fields of South Dakota. And then Lucas gives us a taste of his latest single, Dirt. I love having fun and I'm, you know, just kind of bubbly, I guess. And uh, so I really love it when the other person is up for anything and kind of having fun and just goofing off. What the heck is going on up here? Sorry. What are you doing up there? <laughs> I didn't know you were down there. When I met Lucas, he was definitely that way. You know, if I had a stupid idea of like, hey, let's act like idiots over here, you know? He was totally up for it. With our trigger fingers itchy, it's back to more pheasant hunting here at Rooster Ridge Lodge, where thumping wings and barking guns make beautiful music for aspiring country music artists, Lucas Hogue and myself. Last push of the day, it's gonna be a long one. We've got about seven miles this way, and we're gonna walk about a half a mile that way and another 10 miles back to the truck. It's gonna be a good day. Rooster! Rooster! That was nice. sick! Double whammy, baby! Oh yeah! Hey, you miss some, you get some. <laughs> <laughs> Rooster! Nice shot! I think I'm, I'm locking in my target again. Rooster! Good job! It's been a long day, we're both tired. I'm icing my shoulder tonight. I'm getting a massage. After a great day in the field, it's back to the lodge for some well-earned R&R. And no doubt that with Lucas and I together around the campfire, you can expect to hear some sweet music in the twilight with an exclusive peek at Lucas's latest single. You know, being in Nebraska, I grew up in a little town of about 40 people. All we did was farming and all that stuff, you know, all the raising the cows and all that stuff. And I sat down with a good buddy of mine by the name of uh, Eddie Kay. Eddie walks in and says, I got a great, great idea for this song. And he just said the word dirt. I'm like, you're crazy. Dirt? We're gonna write about dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, yeah, yeah, and I started kind of talking about my hometown, and he started talking about his hometown, and this is what we wrote. I had a 
Started every day in a clean work shirt At the north end of a southbound mule Sun up to supper, pouring money in that dirt Since Sunday, sun, this will all belong to you attempt shooting left-handed. Our goal is to hit one. Going Country is presented by Browning, makers of firearms, clothing, gun safes, and other top quality outdoor gear. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Polaris, the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicles. See them at your local dealer or visit polarisindustries.com. Swarovski, Swarovski Optic. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. And by Mule Deer Foundation, leader in mule deer and blacktail conservation. The plan is we are going to attempt shooting left-handed for the first time. Our goal is to hit one. We kind of had a little competition who could hit their first pheasant left-handed. And I asked to use the Max's shotgun again. And uh, he's nice enough to let me use it. No, I'm not. You <laughs> shot! Good job! You shot the gun! Lefty. I know he was getting sore. He shot two boxes and he was getting sore too. Rooster! Ah! He got lucky. Okay, we both one miss, one miss. One, one. Huh. Rooster! Again, I aimed with my freaking right eye. <laughs> we suck. Don't worry, Garrett. We'll get one. Have faith. Once I get this left eye down, it's on. Yeah, baby. You're getting that other one was a risk. I hit a pheasant left-handed and it was far away. Oh yeah! Cheater! Come to <laughs> Papa, baby! <laughs> Holy crap! We were walking down this cornfield and I kid you not, like we should have started the whole adventure there because there were so 
many pheasants. I didn't even know what to shoot. Oh, which one? Ah! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Just give me one I can really tell. I swear there was probably two to three hundred birds that flushed out in a fountain of pheasants. It was pretty amazing. I didn't know what to shoot. I was like, crap! Finally, I just went like this. <laughs> Good work, dogs. What I'm going to take away from this hunt, new friendships, food, and a good experience. And a couple wounds. <laughs> so my overall experience, I would say here, has been totally awesome. I mean, there's no other word. It was just great all around. We had a great time, some great shots, and you know, it was just kind of the beginning of a new friendship and uh, a, definitely a great hunt. So I hope to come back one of these days. To find out more about Going Country with me, Christy Lee Cook, visit goingcountry.com.